I was, I was approximately 11, 12 years old. Um, knew there was some type of a disorder only because I would get episodes where I couldn't eat a complete meal. Um, started losing a lot of weight. Uh, had an event uh, on a summer day where due to lack of nutrition, I believe, and of course some, some heat, uh, I passed out. For Chicopee resident Dennis Dunnigan, eating a meal was never a simple task. Um, I was brought to the hospital. They did a number of tests on me uh, and couldn't quite figure out what it was. Uh, they thought it was, a, at first they thought it was a glandular issue, something was acting up. It was finally discovered that uh, I had what they, what they call achalasia. Dennis is one of some 3,000 people in the United States believed to suffer from esophageal achalasia, a rare disorder of the esophagus affecting its ability to move food toward and into the stomach. I went on like that for a long, long time, uh, you know, approximately 49 years, uh, not knowing that there was any alternate treatment for it. I it was an episode that lasted five days, along with losing his father to esophageal cancer that sent him to his primary care doctor in search of help. He soon found himself at Bay State Medical Center, where a number of tests confirmed that he had a severe case of esophageal achalasia and was a perfect candidate for a new procedure designed to eliminate some of the symptoms. The rest, as they see, is history. We, we, we underwent the poem procedure. Uh, I, I'm not, uh, I don't believe I'm exaggerating at all when I say that uh, it was 99% successful. It's, it's, it's been a huge, uh, you know, a, a huge burden off my mind when I eat now. I can eat almost like normal people. Dr. David Earle, Director of Minimally Invasive Surgery, is pioneering the new procedure at Bay State, along with Drs. John Romanelli and Dr. Deslitz. With news from Bay State Health, I'm Jade Rivera McFarland.